and welcome back. We are doing Sex Sunday, and I know you're very excited. So, um, we are going to have sex. Surprise. Um, so if you are under 18, please click out of this video. Um, if you're uncomfortable with sex or you don't like adult themes, please click out of this video. But if you want to see a great makeup tutorial, see some sexy makeup, I've got some fun items here, um, eyelashes, alcohol. I've also got some toys, I've got some lingerie, I've got some lube, so let's get started. So, um, our sex life has taken a little bit of a dip lately, and it's probably my fault. I work a lot, so I have a hard time, like, getting in the mood after work, so we decided, you know, today we're gonna have sex, and sometimes you have to just, instead of being, like, spontaneous and fun or whatever, you have to just plan a day, and that's what we're doing. So, I'm going to get into this, and this is a bodysuit. I think I got it from Love Honey. It was either Love Honey or um, Fashion Nova Curve. That's where I normally get my stuff from because I'm, you know, curvy. I'm not thin. So this is a 1X and it's a bodysuit and it's super pretty, but it's um, like velvety. And like, look at how pretty that is. It's got like a really pretty lace and then the back. Ugh. You know, obviously it goes up your butt a little bit and it's okay, but this actually unbuttons so it's it buttons right up so you can button it and then unbutton it when you're tired of you know being covered and you're like it's too tight and need to take it off so that's what I'm wearing so I have lipstick to go with it and we'll get into all that but first I wanted to talk about some lube I have some toys because I have friends at work, you know, I'm a nurse, so nurses, we talk about pretty much everything when we're bored and like we're done with, um, you know, our work, whatever. But, so we were talking about cock rings <laughs> at work, um, and one of my girlfriends, who's probably like 20 years older than me, didn't know what it was, and I thought that that was interesting, that she didn't know what a cock ring was. So, um, I don't, I just heard a bunch of scratching, I didn't know what that was, my door's closed. Like, I don't know if you can hear that or not. Um, so here's one from, I think it's Fascinations is where I get, we get a lot of our stuff. If you're not from Arizona and you don't have a Fascinations, I'm sure you can get it online. I think they have like getlove.com or love.com, something like that. Um, I can't remember their website, but you can also get stuff from lovehoney.com. There's Adam and Eve. I think Adam and Eve has, um, sorry, Mitchy, has like cheaper options and I don't necessarily like the stuff from there. I think it's a little cheaper quality and basically you have to pay for good sex toys. It's just the way it is. But this is a cock ring if you've never seen one. This is kind of um, a more expensive one but basically this goes around the base of the penis if you've never seen one and it's stretchy so your man can't be like oh that's not gonna fit me. Yes the fuck it is. So this goes around the base of the penis and it's for his pleasure and yours. And then there's two things here and this can go around his balls if you want it to. I mean, that's totally up to him and you. Um, and then you just press this button. The batteries might be dead. Oh, no. And um, these ones are rechargeable. As you can see, it vibrates. Um, but the best toys are normally rechargeable. The battery ones tend to not be as good. So, um, and this part is supposed to be for your clit, but meh, it kind of depends on if it actually gets to that point or not. But yeah, these are, these are good quality. Um, try to get some with silicone. Speaking of, um, like silicone, this is something that it made me think of, but like, make sure you get good lube. So this is by Wicked. It's the Toy Love Lubricating Gel for Intimate Toys. It's glycerin-free, paraben-free, and water-based. So what's important about this is I used to get a lot of UTIs before we started switching to specific lubes. And I have not gotten one since we've started using this one. And I've started taking um, not only cranberry, but also um, D-Manos. D-Manos is a like vitamin that a urologist recommended to me. You can get it on Amazon, D-M-A-N-N-O-S-E. 
and I think it's like $15 for like 90 pills or something. It's very cheap, but I have not had one UTI. And for those of you that don't know what that is, it's a urinary tract infection. So if you have a lot of um, issues with um, urgency, like you really have to pee even though you just peed or it hurts when you pee, like it burns, anything like that, it's very common in women. Um, you may have issues with UTIs, so try that. Also get lubes that are glycerin free. Glycerin is a type of sugar, so if you have sugar in your lube, it can cause issues. Also pee after sex. You're welcome, lots of education today. So this is a good one I recommend. I can't remember how expensive it was and the tag is blank, as you see, but this is a good one. But if you're looking for something for him or her, I guess, whatever you're into, but um, again, pee after sex, etc. or if you're not one that deals with UTIs, um, this is what we like, it's by Joe, J-O. It's the water succulent, and they have tons of flavors, but we like the watermelon one, it tastes really good. Um, highly recommend. J-O, sorry, it's hard with the light, but J-O, H2O succulent watermelon lube. It's tasty, very good. Couple things. There's um, tons of different vibrators you can get. There's about a hundred million that you can buy. But one I recommend that if you, I think it's up to 30% or something of women cannot um, climax or come, I guess is the easy way to say it, by penetration. And I am one of those women, I can't. I can't figure out how, I've never been able to. So this thing is great. It's a wand. And if you're scared, this does not go inside your vagina, so don't freak out. This, it's very big, as you see. That's why it doesn't go in your vagina. So this part goes on goes on your clit, so you can hold it this way or this way, whatever you're into. Um, turns on like this. It's got the charger port right here on. And as you see, that's very intense. Um, you can go down, but it is quite intense. So it just depends. You can buy all sorts of stuff. I can't remember the brand. Oh, I wish I could remember, but I know um, that it's at Fascinations. You'll see the packaging for this and just be aware that sex toys are expensive. Like they're not cheap, especially and um, if you're using sex toys with multiple partners, just make sure that you're cleaning them really well. And there are cleansers for that. You know, there's um, toy cleaners. So make sure you're using a toy cleaner before and after because again, you don't want to get an infection and you want to keep you and your partner safe. So, and now we're going to get really fun. So this is by Glass, G-A-G-L-A-S. This is also Fascinations, which is where we get most of our toys. We mostly get lingerie and stuff from like Love Honey. And all these things are clean, by the way. So don't be like, oh my gosh, she's going to touch that and do her makeup. Bitch, it's clean, chill out. Um, but this is one fascinating toy. Um, it's glass, which is fun because you can um, put it in the freezer um, and make it cold. You can also heat it up. How? I don't know. We've never done that. But you could make it cold with, you know, or warm water, I guess. But you can make it cold, and this goes in your anus. It can go in your vagina, but most of the time it goes in the anus is what it's for. That's why it's the beads, and, you, you know, they're small. And you may not think so if you've never done anal play, but obviously this big one does not go in there, so don't panic. And obviously it's up to your comfort level, but with lots of lube and a good partner, um, stuff like this is fun. I've never had anal sex like with a partner, like with you know a penis, because I'm terrified. So if you have any tips or tricks on that, leave them below, because I'm sure a lot of us would love to hear it. So I hope you enjoyed that portion of Sex Sunday. So if you're not interested in the makeup portion, now is your time to dip. Wine. Ah, so normally, if I'm like, I know I'm gonna have sex, I'm gonna get ready to have sex, I would have sexy makeup on, or makeup on, I'm already working on that. Um, I would have sexy music on, is what I was trying to say. But, oh sorry, I didn't mean to move the camera. Um, but since, god damn it, I did it again. 
Oh, Derek just sent me, my husband, just sent me a uh, Instagram. I'm sure it's something dirty. And I just moved the camera because I went to grab brushes. So I'm just gonna do my makeup real quick. I already wet my sponge. But what I was trying to say is that I would normally listen to dirty music and let me mute my phone because it's vibrating like other things later. So I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Beige. And for sex, I tend to use like my cheaper makeup, A, because Derek doesn't really know the difference, my husband. And obviously it's not gonna be like my best makeup ever because A, he's not gonna know the difference and B, it's not gonna stay on all night, so who cares? But I do like to do um, like kind of simple eye makeup, but like dress it up a little bit. Like I'm gonna do um, like a dramatic red lip, but I'm gonna do boring eye makeup with, not boring, but you know, boring for me. It's not gonna be like bright pink or bright, bright red or match my scrubs like it would normally when I go to work. Instead, it's going to be like neutral tones with false eyelashes, which is sexy, you know, and like colorful blush and highlighter and like I said, eyelashes and bright red lipstick. But it's not gonna be heavy on the eyeshadow like normal. It's gonna be really quick eyeshadow actually. And I just realized I didn't even put on a primer. That's how little I care about my makeup right now because it's literally just gonna be, you know, all over my face anyway, which is kind of the point, right? Because men, I feel like, and if you're a lesbian, sorry, I don't have any tips for this. Or, you know, if you're gay, I don't have any tips. Well, I guess I do, because it's men. But in my experience, men like it when your makeup gets smeared. So they don't really care if it's a good job or not because they want to make it messy. So that's a good thing. Like I'm not even going to put powder on because why am I going to waste my expensive $30 powder on sexy time? I'm just not going to do that. So that's why I put on cheap concealer that I don't use super often anyway. I'm going to do my eyebrows real quick. And I know that these are like my most viewed videos, so I'm definitely going to get back into doing them. They're just hard because they're on weekends and weekends are like my hubby time. And obviously he's outside right now with our dog making sure he eats. And I told him I was gonna film a video. So he's just giving me some time, but I'm like, they're going to be kind of a mess, but it's okay. Hi, okay, man. And this is the NYX micro brow, if you don't know, because you don't watch my videos normally. Like, maybe you found me on a YouTube rabbit hole. And if you did, thank you. Please subscribe, because we have fun here. I'm trying to do sex Saturday or Sunday, whatever day I'm off. Next week, I will be in California with a girlfriend, so I won't be doing a ton of videos. I might do one or two when I'm getting ready for work, but okay. So I'm going to do underneath my eye real quick. This is the Epic Wear Eyeliner by NYX. This one is super dark and I actually said in one of my videos that it doesn't stay that well and I'm a liar because I realized the other day that it actually stays better than like the Urban Decay eye pencil. And that one is like twice the price. So this one actually stays really well. More wine. If you're not a drinker, please enjoy some water. It's much better for you. There we go. I was like, I had a palette. I don't know what happened to it. This is my go-to getting ready for sex palette because it's super easy. And it's the Man Eater by Tarte. And they still sell this. And it's very pretty. Um, they just sell it to where this long shade now is cut in half and they have a black in it, but it's literally the same. So what I'm going to do is use this passion shade, which is just the, um, this shade right here and go into my crease. 
I just went like this to try to use the mirror that's right here. Even though there's a mirror right here and there's a camera, I don't know why I did that. So we're going to dust that over real quick. Again, men don't know or care, so just do whatever you want. I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna mix Purr and Saucy. They're both like pretty browns. It's like a pinky brown. <sighs> these two, not the one with pan in it, but these two. Mixing those together. Just gonna do a light eye. Again, you're gonna put on big ass lashes if you want, of course. Um, but I find that they're, you know, sexy and flirty and fun and they're kind of like a confidence booster because who doesn't love giant lashes? So just mixing these. Like I swear, I keep hearing like tapping on my window and I'm like, I know my husband is outside in his man shed, so I doubt it's him. It's like it could be, but that would be hella creepy, so I don't know why he would do that. Maybe he's like moving stuff outside. I don't know what he's doing. Do 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 do. Focus, please. Thank you. I don't know what its problem is. I need a new camera. This one is from just like a um, pawn shop that somebody probably pawned for some meth or something. So I definitely need a new one. I'll just go back to the pawn shop and get a nicer one. It wasn't that expensive, it was like 50 bucks, so we'll get a new one eventually. Or at least another one, because my husband uses it too, so I think that it's just being used a lot. So I'm gonna use Foxy, which is this really pretty gold right here, and I'm gonna dig into it with my finger, because that's how you get the best payoff, but like, look at how pretty that gold is. We're gonna dust on my eyelid and again it doesn't have to be super perfect because you're about to have sex it doesn't matter There we go. So that's my basic like sex eye because it doesn't take a lot of effort and it's very like, okay, done. Um, and then I'll just dust underneath with one of these makeup remover wipes that are rewashable. I don't like the ones that you throw away because they're bad for the environment or whatever. Beep, 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 beep. We use my next Epic Incliner. I'm not gonna do a crazy line like it would at work. I mean, I might, it just depends. Depends on how cooperative it is. Ugh. I think this one needs to be replaced so it's like semi-cooperative. And I feel like I just got it and it's doing the best it can. I feel like sometimes the thicker portion gets turned, but again, you're having sex and you want it to get kind of messy, so it's okay. Like, again, men don't care, so whatever. Like, it's a little messy. Like, they're not gonna judge you. Like, if you have your, their dick in your mouth, they don't really care. So we're just gonna do some quick mascara. Oh shit, I like did not, I don't know if you can see this, I like barely blended this right here. Not that he would notice or care, but we're going to blend it a little bit better. What the actual fluff? I feel like I didn't even like look at it. Oh, one of the cats is trying to come in. I thought it was my husband, it's one of the cats. She's like, hi mom. Hello. Yep, there she is. Hi Sally. I'm just going over a quick coat. 
and we're gonna put false lashes on. A lot of the girls at work have been getting, you know, like false lashes um, put on, like professionally, and I think I'm just gonna start wearing false lashes to work. Um, hello. You've never wanted to be in a video, but you choose the sex video to show up. I don't know if you'll even be able to see her, but she's really cute. She's sitting in my lap at this exact moment. Hi. Hi. I've had this cat since she could fit in the palm of my hand and she's being really cute right now, but of course it's like when I'm trying to get ready to have sex. Mittens. Hi. Can you look at the camera? Look at how cute you are. Yes. She's like, maybe I'll sit here, maybe I won't. And now she's gonna get on, on here, okay. Okay, while we have a cat to distract us, let's put on our eyelashes. You're so cute, Sally, I just can't. So you're gonna get your eyelashes. I've shown them in a tutorial before, but you're gonna get the, the end that is shorter, this end on the left hand side of the, right here is the, sorry, this is the long end right here. So this is gonna be the left eye because you want the shorter end towards the inside of your eye. Okay, bye Sally. She just wanted to come play for a minute, I guess. I don't know. So I'm gonna use this new Tartise Lash Glue I just got. And just plop them on there. Just using a mirror I have down here if you care. If I can get it to stay, that would be great. What is happening? Please just fucking cooperate, like please. This is why you come here, is for this fucking mess. Okay, so these tweezers are not helping me. What are these? If not, I'll go to my go-to red ones. There we go, Jesus. Sorry, if you don't like the whole God's name in vain thing, I don't mean to do that, it's just, it's never been a, you know, issue for me, so I forget. Ugh, oh, okay. And so the glue, there we go. It was like sticking to the bottom of my bottom lashes, so I just had to fix it, but they are gluing down, and so we will um, use some mascara to fix them in a little bit, but as you can tell, it's much more dramatic. And so it can just be sexier when you're like, you know, flirtatious or whatever in the bedroom. So I'm gonna put some more on this eye, or some, I haven't put on any yet. Do, do, do. And holding it here, put it on this eye. And this is much harder than it looks if you've never done this before, so don't get frustrated even though I just did and I got glue all over the bottom of my eye. Um, it takes practice, but you can do it. Especially if you've never used this Tarte glue before because it's black. Um, you can always get like Duo. I know Duo and Ardell make a white glue. I just like the black because it goes with my eyeliner. But I'm thinking about wearing like false lashes to work every day. I think it won't even be that big of a deal because these aren't that big. I'm thinking I'm just gonna start because I love the way this looks. I know, Sally. And you can rewear false lashes all the time, so I think I'm gonna do it. And then you're just gonna go back in with your mascara and go underneath and make sure that they're connected to the falsies. Your real ones, I mean. Now you're gonna go to the underneath ones and comb them out a little bit. Make a stupid face. I know, Sally. I don't know what you want from me right now. Oh my god, she brought in a toy. That's her problem. She's so cute, you guys. Someone take this cat. So I got this blush from CoverGirl. This is a true blend in the shade 345 Hot Frenzy. It's very pretty, as you see, it's like a 
terracotta pink orange color so we're gonna put on too much and then blend it out just kidding because like, I'm gonna look like a clown for a minute and then we gonna fix it I'm like it's very bright it's a very bright blush I put on way too much but it's okay because it's really pretty like this is definitely a very intense one but you can go in with your powder brush and I didn't put on any powder today but oh my god Lisa get your shit together please just stop there we go I know mittens life is really hard There we go. It's still a little crazy, but it's better after you put powder on it. And then we're gonna put on some mascara and then we get to the fun part. Or mascara, oh my God, highlighter. So this is Frozen Peach by Jeffree Star. And it's super glittery and intense and beautiful and I love it. So we're gonna put that on. It's like, oh. this is way more for me than it is for him just because I love highlighter. She really wants to play fetch. Again, you can try to make your blush a little less intense if you care. Again, it's a man, they don't care. Mittens. Oh my goodness. And then find any creamy red lipstick. These are um, discontinued, but this is the Too Faced brand but I'm not sure what the line was, but they're really pretty. This is He's With Me. That's all I have left because this is my sex lipstick. But it's uh, it's not matte, so it will like move around. And men love it when you have like lipstick all over their penis. I don't know what it is, but they love it. So we're just gonna put that on. And if it's not perfect, it's a little messy, it doesn't matter because it's going to get messy anyway. So I'm going to get dressed and put my hair down for, I don't know, about 10 minutes or so. It'll be up momentarily. And I'm going to get laid. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. And please tell me if you want me to do more of these, what you want to talk about, what you want to see. Um, don't be shy. So thank you. See you next sex Saturday, Sunday, whatever. Bye.